this is a number. And we not only want it to be a number, we want it to be an integer. So we do not want to have any fractional part or decimal. So we're trying to figure out the smallest value for k where that can happen. Anytime you're dealing with really small numbers or large numbers, you want to change them to a form of scientific notation. So this first one is 25 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, to the negative 4. We moved it to the right, so our exponent's negative. The next one is 25 times 10 to the negative 3. And the last one is 25 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5 times 10 to the k. So we've got 25 cubed to the, when you multiply like bases, you add your exponents, and that will be times 10 to the negative 12 times 10 to the k. Now, 25 to the third is an integer. It's one I've memorized. It's actually 15, 625, which you don't have to know that. But what I want you to realize we want this to stay an integer. If we multiply this times 10 to the negative 12, it would move your decimal a bunch of places that way, and you'd have 0 .000, several zeros. We, we want this to remain an integer. So what does this need to be? It needs to be a 12. Because when you multiply like bases, you add your exponents, and that would give you 10 to the 0. So you're left with that 15, 625, or 625 to the third power. So 12 is your answer.